Hi. So, eto I'll share something about uh, GMA7. No? Uh, first, ang tanong ko siguro why GMA7 is kinilig ka ba sa Aldab? <laughs> so, kung if siguro for sure, yung iba kinilig, yung iba hindi naman. So, here, habang kinik- ito na lang, habang kinikilig yung iba, siguro kikiligin ka rin if you're invest in the stock market. no So, if you invested GMA7 way back before, is there is a possibility na ngayon kinilig ka rin kasi umaakyat yung stock price mo ay yung stock mo or yung capital mo siguro by 10%. Kung if you started September 24 and you sell your... Your, yung goal mo lang pala is 10% earnings is siguro by nung Monday, October 26, you, and you binenta mo na siya from September 24 to October 26, you already earned uh, 6 per, uh, 10% from it. Let's say September 24 here. Let's say you buy here at the uh, highest. No? So that then you sell here at 7. So, that is already 10% earnings. Okay. Pero, okay. But, before that, uh, let's, ano muna, what happened in GMA7 na stock price? So, if you look b- back here, backtrack muna tayo. So, yung blue line na shinare ko here is the support. No, This is a solid support which I believe because dito nung bumagsak siya uh, way back November November 6 bumag- bumagsak siya dito these two candlesticks are really strong selling pressure but on a certain point okay uh, okay before i continue what I'm, i what indicators i'll be using or oscillators that i will be using is macd moving average convergence divergence and uh, money flow index So money flow index is a combination of RSI and volume, no? So okay. Uh dito this 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 two here are really strong selling pressure, but pagdating dito the uh the bullish pressure, the bu- the bull pressure or the buyer's pressure started to push the price higher, pero hindi sila nag-sustain, malakas talaga yung selling and a lot were really have fear of it so bumaba pa rin yung stock price lower pero on the next trading day hindi siya bumaba pa lower on this support line no so nung pin, if from this pinlat na natin that is a support because of this candlestick and on the next trading day umakyat pa rin dito pero we have selling signal pa rin so on the pero here nagaano na lang siya nagre-range siya on this level so nagre-range siya diyan pero pagdating naman nung no, December 16 there was a strong selling pressure na naman so there was a breakout here pag breakout is it signals us to sell no on the uh, on the technical uh, technical analysis perspective so dito we have a strong selling pressure goes on the uh, succeeding trend, uh, trading days and here we have a support here so that at 6.3 we have a support no dito nagre-range na lang siya diyan so hindi na bumababa yung stock price and pero dito naman ulit nagkaroon tayo ng strong selling pressure pa rin siguro marami nang nainip pero on that level if looking at uh, money flow index oscillator or indicator humihina na yung selling pressure so no and okay nagano siya dito nag uh, at, at six so i round off ko na lang at six pesos uh, we have a new support dito so umakyat siya and did looking at looking at macd we still have a selling signal so okay lang hold lang muna and we have uh uh tawag nito bullish pressure dito the bull started to accumulate and looking at the macd we have a crossover here pero nasa 
it could be a uh, uh, selling signal here yung crossover ay, no, sorry buying signal here yung crossover pero on my part i won't buy here muna kasi hindi pa nag-cross yung MACD sa zero no okay so steady lang and looking at uh, money flow index mukhang you can buy a little na here because the buying pressure started to accumulate uh, the buying pressure started to get stronger and stronger no so nag cross na siya ng 50 uh, 50% so here nag sideways siya and the breakout here signals me kung ako signals me to buy no and okay first signal to buy Kung ibangga natin sa MACD, we have a buy signal also. And looking at the money flow index, kung may pressure ang buyers or ang bull, yes, we have a, a bullish signal dito sa... Actually, here pa lang, meron na tayong ano, eh, tinatawag natin bullish divergence. Because while the stock price is at sideways, our money flow index is already rising, no? That signals us that there is volume accumulation, and the bull, uh, the the buying pressure started to to gain strength, and this breakout, nag break sa jan sa six point three natin na support. Tapos here, this strong uh, bullish breakout from that support solid support is a signal to to buy as well so dito nakabili na tayo and dito pwede kang bumili ulit pero hindi siya na sustain kasi nandun na naman there was a uh, it could we can consider it as profit taking or uh, siguro yung iba nag cut loss or yep maybe profit taking to pero it could be maybe yung iba naman nag nag cut loss from from here na ano na pag-aantay nila no so kung yung iba nag cut loss or nag profit taking at that at this level okay lang kumita na sila no or yung iba naman na cut na nila yung percentage loss nila kasi bumagba, bumagsak ulit bumaba ulit mayroon ta nag breakdown siya ulit from this support no uh, from this yeah from this support when it uh, breaks up dito. So so here nung bumagsak siya ulit. So tapos bumagsak pa here. Tapos it it consolidates naman dito no sa uh, at, at least sa 6.1 no. Hindi siya bumagsak nang todo sa 6 which is yung yan din yung support natin which is dito na validate din siya. Pero on, if we look at it on uh in uh on uh, this time period the the price is just channeling no meron lang tayong price range dito so from this point nag sideways siya umakyat bumaba ulit bumalik tapos umakyat ulit ulit lang siya dito so nag price ano lang siya sideways lang siya on that level so kung dito naman yung uh, money flow index natin nag ano lang siya sa sa 50 level no nag stay lang siya doon and dito yung strong selling pressure ayon yung 6 6.0 natin na support was validated na strong support yun kasi on the next trading day nag rebound siya ulit and dito there was no umihina na yung ano dito selling pressure as the money flow index reaches below 20 and here, there was an accumulation dito. So, it could be something na, oops, sumisikat na ang ALDAB. And there is something here, lumalabas na rin sila sa commercial. So, let's start to accumulate. So, good for those people who believe on that because if you bought here, yung September 24, and sabi ko nga kanina, if you bought here September 24, you already have you already beaten yung kung goal mo is 10% lang pwede nang magbenta no 
kita ka na eh. 10% na yan eh. And here, what there's, while the, the stock price on this time period is ranging, though, by the way, if we plot the the lows here, it's a higher lows, no? Paakyat din siya. And here, in, you, hindi pa natin siya masasabi na, okay, uh, there's already a buying pressure here. Pero at this level, MACD already started to cross over na naman sa zero. And looking at the money flow index, meron din tayong buying signal. It started to... to to breach above 80 no it climbs up so indeed there was an accumulation here paunti-unti man yan pero on this level there was a strong breakout from this resistance so what really happened there is dahil din din sa Alda phenomenon imagine 41 million tweets no uh, for their event na Alda tamang panahon and if you look also there are uh, events that there there are meron na silang tv commercials and hindi pa factored in sa earnings yan lalabas pa yun so sa ang tanong next natin hanggang saan ba to aabot ang presyo ng ng GMA7 we don't know we still have coming factors ng election what i can only say is in analyzing stock, know the story behind it, and that is fundamental analysis. And when you decide when to buy, is you can use technical analysis. No, and if if na reach mo na yung yung goal mo fundamentally, let's say ten gusto mo ten percent earnings lang on every trade, no, or if you are trading or sa investment mo ten percent lang per annum, then you don't have to wait for that whole year no pwede ka na dito benta mo na don't be greedy kung 10% lang yung gusto mo then in 1 month lang kumita ka na 11% then you can already sell and your your goal is already achieved so thank you for again fundamental and technical analysis are very important in stock market investing so thank you for watching and I hope uh, you follow me and visit my site www.josephpanario.com. Thank you.